Well, if you've got Christian television, you will have seen some notices appearing on the bottom of the screen, this one's in red, saying that you need to change your frequency uh, to 12519 megahertz. Well, most people wouldn't have a clue what to do about that, but I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how to change the frequency on a Sony Star set-top box. And uh, you pick up the remote, which uh, looks like this, and on the Sony Star SAT8898. That's it, the Sony Star remote. And the, you'll see the button on the left here, that's called the menu button. And you press the menu, aim it at the box, and this is what will come up. Then you've got to press OK to where it says Add Channel. Press OK there, we're going to go in and have a look at the menu. This was, would confuse most non-technical people. Something terrible. But uh, I'm telling you, it's very simple if you follow these clear instructions. What we, what we can see here is an opportunity down here to add a transponder there or to delete a transponder. Changing the frequency, we're going to delete one and add another and then scan down from the satellite the new channels. So this is how we do it. We're going to go down to the uh, frequency uh, and 12644 or 645 is the current frequency that it brings in God TV, TBN and some of those Christian channels. And we're going to actually delete this one. So now we take the scroll, scrolling down using the, the circle around the OK. You use those buttons to shift the yellow scroll on the screen. So we're scrolling that down to, uh, to until we get to delete transponder. And we're going to press OK on that and it will ask you if you want to be sure about that. So you have to scroll across using those buttons again, take that yellow across to OK and then press OK and you'll notice that the transponder has now changed, the other one's gone altogether. Now we shift the highlight yellow to add a transponder and press OK. Now we've got a new transponder coming in here and this is what they want us to do, change the frequency. So we're adding, uh, pressing the numbers on your remote, these numbers up here, and aim it at the set-top box and you put in one, two, five, one, nine. And then you press OK on that and it'll highlight like that. So we've now got the new trans uh, uh, frequency there, the new transponder. But we need a symbol rate, and they, they didn't tell you about that, but you've got to put a 22500 symbol rate in there. 225, uh, oh, I've got it wrong. So just keep going around if you get it wrong. Um, so do it again, two, two, five zero zero and press OK on that and so now we've got a symbol rate of 225 and the polarity nobody tells you about this but you need to have a, um, a vertical polarity not horizontal and to get that we have to press the button across from the OK button and, and you'll get a vertical you notice when we get it all right the signal quality comes in lovely 62% there um, that means that we're actually picking up a signal from the satellite and when we start to scan in a minute um, we will draw down the new channels because we've got a clear signal coming through. So we take the highlighting right down to save and press OK. We want to save that. Now we want to search that transponder on the satellite to see what channels they've got to offer. So we go up with the yellow highlight and we're going to change this search all to using the side of the OK button. Again, press that and get it. Just search the free channels. If you get all channels, you'll end up having lots of blank channels that you, you can't see because you haven't got a card in your box and you can't, um, and you've got to pay for those anyhow. So now we're going to search the free channels and the Christian channels are all free. So Take it across to the, no, no, on the free, press OK, and it'll start searching. There, it's already searched, brought down some new channels, and 
it says it's over, so we just press OK on that. Now we're going to get out of this and go and find out what we've got. We go up, take from Add Channel up to TV Channel, press OK, and it'll show you all the new channels that we've got there, including uh, some of the Christian ones that we're looking for. Now, because we've got channels in there that aren't any good and we don't want them, we're going to delete them. And as you see from the bottom of the screen here, to delete a channel, you just press 1 on the um, remote control and put in a password, which is four zeros. And then, then you'll see the little cross appeared next to where we pressed 1. Then we're going to go up and press 1 again. And so we get rid of all those that haven't got anything to show us. Um, and we also get rid of the foreign language ones. Because you can't understand them. And don't, these are the start of the Christian ones, so we keep them. There's a foreign language one there. Get rid of that. And so we go on up until we run out. Russia Today, keep that, Press TV, V8 World, no signal, get rid of that. Uh, that's English News from Japan, we'll keep that, ABC Uplink, ABS Uplink, we'll get rid of that. ERT is foreign language, getting rid of that. PPO, don't know what that is, get rid of that. Agapi is no signal, get rid of that. CGN no signal, get rid of that. Get rid of this one with the old AON. And, I, and then we've been right around. So now we exit. There's an exit button on the um, remote just there. Press the exit. And want to save it? Yes, we want to save it. Now we go back in it again and we're going to sort them into the right order that we want. And uh, to do to move a channel into a different order, you press number two. You see, it says move, so you've got to press number two. So we're going to go and find, or TBN's there. That, I'll put that as number one, so press number two. Push the password four zeros in again. Now I'm going to move that up to number one. Move that up to number one, and press number two again, and it stays there. So now we go down to get my number two channel, which is... Uh, Day star, there it is. Press number two on that. Go up to number two. Press it again, it'll stay there. And so we're going to rearrange all the channels into the personal preference. There we go to number three. That stays there. And four at God DV in my menu. Press on that, take it up to number four. Now I go to look for inspiration. I think it's probably over the top or something. There it is. And uh, press number two on that and take it up to number five. Inspiration. Now we get that SBN one. We'll go down and pick it up. Take the stand with the and press number two and go up to number six. And press that. Now We've got seven is a seven day Adventist, eight is Hope. Um, we want the youth channel next. That is the JCTV one. Press number two on that. Take it up to number nine. Press number two again, it'll stay there. The Catholic channel is number 10. So we take that up to number 10. Now we go down and pick up AON. Make that number 11. Now I think we've got them all. Yes, we have. So all my uh, Christian channels are on from 1 to 11 and English news from 11 to 14. So when we're <coughs> happy with what the order is, we can press the exit button. It'll say, do you want to save that? And I say yes by clicking OK and exit again. And we now have tuned and reprogrammed our Sony Star set-top box and we can see that the red message is no longer there. We've got new TBN channel and a new God TV channel, new Daystar channel and they don't show any warning signs. So now we're set up 
hopefully for many years to come. So thank you for bearing with us. It, it wasn't so painful, I hope. Thank you. Bye.